hello um i thought i'd do a whole video today because it's been a while since i did my last one um this isn't any like specific kind of style that i've collected like my last one was Hime and bodyline um this is all random things that i've just sort of well, there's some stuff that can fit into Japanese fashion but a lot of it's been from like high street stores um, but my first item I bought is actually a brand item take it off, oh, hang on because it looks ugly I got this Liz Lisa top I'm really bad at showing things um, and it's like I don't know if you can see but it's made of really really soft material like it's like a dressing gown and it's really cute and yeah Liz Lisa and I got this second hand for like nine pounds so I was like girl I ain't gonna pass on that and it's really warm and it's good for the winter and stuff oh, oh and I got this wig this is new oh look you can see <laughs> that's the thing with this wig like I realized it's really thin it's really cool because it's my first wig with like the flesh top thing but it's like it's quite thin and you can see like the netting and stuff but I paid like £10 for it, so what do you expect, really? Um, I also got this belt. Oh, show myself. This belt from eBay as well. Um, I got it for £6, I think. Like, I really wanted a dyer belt, but they're all selling for like 50 quid, and I was like, £50 for a belt? Girl, I'll pay that for a dress. So, yeah, I just got some kind of something that will work just as fine. Um, my next top, I really wanted a long sleeve fairy K top. Um, but I'm really not sure about it because it's look how wide it is. I mean, the model in the picture, she was really petite and small. So, and obviously it was like baggy on her, but I thought, oh, but it's like too baggy. But the print's really cute. I don't know, I might sell it, I'm not sure. Because I don't mind baggy things, but you know when it's just like a sack. And I, I don't know, I'm very picky. I've been trying to get into like, is it Kurogao? Is this Kurogao? I don't really know what this style is like called. Because I thought Kurogao is where you tan your skin and grow out ain't tan. Um... But like, um, I've been looking at sort of Daya and um, the stuff that they wear. I don't know what it's called, someone tell me. Anyway, um, yeah, I've been looking at that brand and buying pieces that look similar. Like this jacket I found on eBay and it came with matching shorts. So I was like, ooh, this top. <laughs> um, yeah, this top I got from, it's a Taobao store. I can't remember the name. Um, the model in it is Rulu Anne, and I was kind of really inspired by her, hence why I bought this wig because I was like, I want to look like Rulu Anne. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is one of her tops that she sells. And I got this. Oh god, it's really hard to. It's one of the crossover vest tops. I got this on eBay, and it's like asymmetrical. And very see-through um but i got it for two pounds so i was like "Ooh, i ain't gonna pass on that <laughs> the next item i got i got from my friend marie um she was selling it second hand um it comes with a skirt as well but the skirt's in the wash so yeah and it's really adorable it's really cute i like it the print's really nice. Um, it's a replica, but over Christmas, um, I got a gift voucher for New Look, and I don't really shop in New Look. I don't know. I just don't find their stuff very exciting. But I found this in the sale. Originally, it was twenty, but I managed to get it down to fifteen because some of the bits were missing. It's like a oops, I got it around the wrong way. It's like um a kimono in like a minty color. And it's got a sparkly sheet on it, but a lot of the gems have fallen off. <laughs> I don't know, I, just, I really liked it. It's kind of a bit granny, but I really like grannies. 
That sounds really wrong. <laughs> I mean, I like granny style. This I found in H&M. How cool is it? And um, it's like chiffon. I think that's... No, organza. See? It's see-through. Uh, this is see-through as well. Unless you want your boobies out. It might look good with your boobies out. But yeah, I usually wear like a pink crop top underneath. I just thought that it was really pretty. It was in sale as well. Got a gift voucher for Christmas, so I finally got it. And it's really cute. It's like a really nice pink colour and it makes your boobs look really nice. Um, I also got some white disco shorts from eBay. The waist is fine. Um, and like around my bum is fine as well, but the front, like the crotch bit's a bit saggy, which is a shame. I didn't pay that much for them, but I'll still like get some use out of it. Just sort of wear something over, over the shorts so you don't see the saggy crotch. Uh, this I got in sale from Miss Selfridge. Oh, how cute is it? It was originally £50, I got it for 30 and I still think £30 a bit steep for like a clutch bag. But look at it, it's, it's really soft and it has a chain if you want to put it over your shoulder. It's a bit long though, when I put it on my shoulder it hangs like down my knees. So yeah, I just have it as a clutch bag. It's so soft. It's like, it's like walking around with a cat. Then I also got this from eBay, it's like a dog tooth cardigan and it has waist tyres which you can do at the back or the front. And I also got like a blue um, a blue wig and it looks really nice with this. So I like bright coloured hair with like black clothes, I think it looks real pink. Oh. I got this from Miss Selfridge as well. I've been after a big black hat for a long time. I like how I pause. It's like a big black hat <laughs> um, for like a really long time. And I have a really small pea head, so nothing fit me. But yeah, I was so happy. And it's really nice. Um, then I found this in Primark. It was on sale for £3. And I don't know, I just thought I could do some stuff with it. I like layering things and three pound. You can't go wrong. And then I also got one in black as well. And it's quite sparkly actually. I don't know if you can see. It doesn't really show on webcam. Then lastly, I'm not, actually there's like more things that I've bought but I literally can't remember. Oh, I got stuff from Bodyline. I'll get those in a sec. Then I got this bag from Primark, which was also on sale. I think it looks really nice for Primark. I've seen this on eBay actually, and I was going to bid on it. Someone was selling it for like £12, and they were like, oh, it's a designer bag. It was originally like 25 and saying all this shit, and I was like, mate, it's from Primark. I nearly bought it as well, and then I, then I saw it in Primark. Um, and I also made a purchase actually my mum got these for me because I asked for these for Christmas and for some reason I don't think the payment went through and um, it was like five days after Christmas I was like wait didn't we order something from Bodyline and um, she was sent no tracking code and on her PayPal it didn't say that the money went through so yeah so I've got these now um, I couldn't decide on a colour so I got Three <laughs> in different colourways. I got the blue. I got the cream. They actually say that it's white on uh, on the website, but they're actually cream. I was a bit disappointed because I wanted white ones, but who's gonna know? And the pink ones. And I have like a lot of um, fairy K things that will go with this. And then I found this. I thought it was cute. <laughs> um, it was, I think it was about two pound. So I was like, girl, you can't go wrong. And it's pink and purple. Okay, uh, that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed my whole video. Sorry if I rushed it. I'm just trying to cut down on the length of my videos. Because I talk a lot. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.